Welcome to another laptop prepare video. Uh, today I want to share with you an exciting project we did with my friend Alex who is based in Los Angeles, California. Uh, this is a video where we used schematics diagrams and body views and successfully fixed a dead MacBook Air 13 inch 2015. Uh, we recorded this video sometime back during one of our repair training sessions. So I decided to share with you this video so that you can see the power of these documents and probably learn how to use them to fix any type of laptop. We were talking about this one, the chip. Aha. By the way, that chip oh, yeah. looks to have some corrosion. Do you see on these capacitors here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just noticed this, right? Mm. And even here, there's some corrosion here. Do you think I should clean up or... Uh, oh, you see, there's a lot of corrosion, actually. Yeah, oh. good. And they worked Maybe. on the BIOS, this one down, which has got a... Uh -huh, this one. They, they work on? Yeah, they worked on it and they left the flux there. They tried, to, I think, to reprogram it. Okay, yeah. let me see the other parts, if it has any water. I think that was a, the water damage too, right? What yeah, yeah. The other parts uh, looks okay. There's some corrosion too, right? But not so much. Not so much. You see the stain mm. around? Yeah. It's just like this area, the stain. Mm. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not the, it's not the whole board. See, this is the stain area, actually. It's not the whole board. So somebody tried to work on them, this thing, they couldn't fix it, huh? Yeah. You know, there's some rust. Now now I'm seeing this. There's some rust. Mm. And I'm gonna dry up now with a chimney extractor. But it still looks dirty. There's still some stuff there. It's better, right? Yeah. You see, it's missing some... Uh, it looks like it's missing something there, right? Where? Some capacitor is missing. Oh, no, no, it's not missing. It's like that. Mm. There's this resistor here that you're going to fix on this small chip. Say it again. Is that resistor down there that it's called R7425? Which one? That one on top of the BIOS that goes, that one which is green on top of the BIOS, that one. Yes. This? No, the next one. The next one. Yes, that one. There is nothing there. There is nothing? Oh no, oh, oh no, it's there actually. I think it's there. <laughs> you try to clean that part. But it looks like it was empty, right? When you look it. Oh no, it's there. Right? Yeah. You clean it on both sides. I'm going to show you this in the schematic here what it does. You remember the other switch I told you that turns on the the RAM. So that fuse is very useful. Really? This yeah. is more stuff here? Yeah, that's more stuff. Out this? You know that chip? That chip is the one that makes voltage for RAM. That chip there. Hey, you know what? It came out. <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. 
it was loose. You're going to replace it. You're going to replace it with another one. You see, it's burned. Yeah, it's already burned. Those connections are already corroded. They won't attach well. So I can still use this or no? No, you won't use it. I'll get another one. Okay, now you scrub off the corrosion. Then you apply flux. Actually, just apply flux and bring the teeth, the solder, and try to solder those parts where you want to solder another, another tube. So wait a minute. Where do, where do I solder? I don't see any metal. Uh -huh. that, that part where it was, you apply flux. When you use a gun, the metal is going to show up. Little solder? Yeah. But one is missing here. Is that normal? I think it just plucked out. missing okay we are going to make a jam we're going to make a loop this is the one that we have been working on eh? so this one is connected to this capacitor here the one you have been working on which one is it is the red one right yeah so this time you know com comes to this capacitor so you're going to get a fuse, you put it here, then you solder one terminal from here to here. There's even a, a test point here that you can solder on our scene. Hmm. Now, here in the schematics, it is this one. It comes from VPS to this capacitor. Actually, you know what? Looks like you can even you can even uh, you can even solder a wire. Like you can just put a wire because it is a zero ohms. You see this number? It's like a wire. Just now you're going to solder a wire from here, from this part because you said this part has got soldering. Eh? You solder from here and you come and solder. There is a, a, a test point here. So get that small looping wire, solder part, one part here and another one here. So let me show you this. Okay. You want me to get this one right here, right? Yeah. And connect to the this one, the capacitor? There is that test point before the capacitor. Or this one? Yes. This one and this one? You can connect on this, the first one. This one? Yes, that one and on this one, this one. saying that you're okay. I'm watching too much Korean drama. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> now, can you look around so on that motherboard for any corrosion, like, nearby? Oh, there is this corrosion. Should I remove it? 
Yeah, try to clean it. Does this uh, affect the function of the motherboard? So much. So much. The corrosion? Yeah. So in what sense does it affect uh, the motherboard? Corrosion is like rusting. It, it increases the resistance and then uh, it can rust the line and the line can break. When it changes the, like a green color, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. what is next? Uh, I'm going to plug in, then we can test and see. Okay. So turn it on. Yeah, connect the other fan and the other cable and then turn it on. You can see like that, right? Yeah, there I can see that it is rotating. Just, just plug in? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, it's working. You fix it. You try it. Let's try to correct the screen. <laughs> put the SSD there. Yeah, put the heat sink also. So actually, you didn't have to put a capacitor. You just you just use a wire to connect to the other one, right? So I think that's the, that's the better, easier way to do it too, right? But not every part you can. You have to put a wire. No, they just the specific parts you put a wire. But you know that when I use a when I use a schematics, I can know which part to put a wire and which part not to put a wire. No, not really. See, in the schematics, everything is there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put the the, the board there. What do you think? It's, yeah, it's put better, the, right? Yeah, put the board there. Just to make sure all is connected. No, it's not. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, it looks it's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's working. <laughs> Huh? You, you fix it. <laughs> it's you fixed it because it's you has been repairing.